So in this video, we are going to look at just how to model this uh, terrain or landscape using the surveyor's information. And also we'll look at how to optimize its representation such that we have something much, much, much cleaner. So let's get started with this video. Hi everyone, it's Nalan and welcome to Naditech Studio. If you are new to this channel, I recommend that you do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let's start with the information that we have from the surveyor. I did receive a PDF, which is um, essentially 2D lines. And if you can get your hands on the IFC file, it would be a much better option. But in this case, I have just a PDF and it's what I'm going to use. So I will drag and drop it in. So first is that I need to explode it because currently I cannot use it. It's like an image. I'll select it, right click and explode into current view. So I'll say OK and everything will calculate. So now I can delete this background. I don't need it. So, and this other information as well, I don't need it. So I'll need to um, suspend group such that I can be able to select this and delete it because I won't be needing it. And now I'm going to rotate this to the way I like to use it. Well, in my design, I prefer to have uh, this side vertical. So I'm going to control E to rotate and have it vertical like that. And again, because it was in a PDF, it loses a bit of scale. So I need to scale this up, control K to rescale. And I'm going to come in and put in the new dimension from here all the way up to here and that is supposed to be 40.5 meters. Great, so I think I can put it out of this thing. I am going to begin to, to draw the mesh and the mesh is under design and you can get the mesh right here. So uh, the default is one meter. I think I can keep it like that everything else and I want all I want to remove is this cover fill and I say okay and I begin to draw so let me just draw something that um, a rectangle around here I don't have to follow the things which have been given here so now it's time to add these points to to add this information to the mesh because uh, this is important information that I need to add to the mesh. So I'm going to select my mesh and space click to fit to user ridges. And I will say okay and do the same again. So I will speed through that as I continue to do it. Great, so start to inspect to see that you have not forgotten any control lines and once you're happy, now it's time to elevate. So, uh, in order for us to do elevate, let's first take this mesh backward by going to display order, send it to back and such that we can see this information here. So we can see this is 98 and this is 97. So we have just one meter difference from right from here up to there. 
And in order for us to be able to convey that information, we have uh, four intervals in between there. So that means that if this were zero here at the beginning here, so this will be 200, then 400, 600, 800, and then the one meter. So you have that one meter difference. So let's begin to elevate. I think I'm going to begin from right under here, beginning with this one here. So I'll make it one meter. So you just click one of these points, uh, choose this elevate mesh point, and I'm going to put in one meter. And then I say apply to all such that it will be applied to all of those points. And that is the very first one. So now I can begin to elevate upward. So if I do select, so this is one meter. And now I can put this as 1.2, like we did say. And then here is 1.4. And then here it becomes 1.6. And then here it becomes 1.8. And then here becomes 2 meters. And as you can see, we are back to that red thing. So from this red major interval to this major interval, it's just one meter. So I will go ahead and also speed through this. begin to inspect to see if there's none that I have skipped and I think I'm happy. So let's go in 3D and see just what has come out. F5 and this is what we have. Not particularly exciting but um, pretty good one. And uh, let's now optimize how this thing looks like. So we can select it and definitely go to the settings by control T. And in the settings, we want to change the representation such that the uncut pen is something that we like. In my case, I did use something whiter. So in uncut pen, I need something uh, close to white, maybe this 0.13. And, and that is it. 
for the representation and then under model here uh, you want to go to make all ridges smooth and then I say okay so now after it calculates it comes up with this beautiful thing which is very wonderful and uh, for the representation's sake so this the four corners we can study how the contour is behaving and decide what height to give them for example this continue contour i can raise it <clears throat> to something that's just a bit above the the height high most here which is 10 meters maybe so i can make this um 11 yeah okay maybe too high just take it a little down yeah to something that looks good right there and this one as well just using kind of my eye in order to to have this thing uh, project uh, realistically so let's move it finally here as well I, I do think that this can stay where it's supposed to be and there you have it so in the next video we are going to cover how to put a rod on this on this how to add a rod on this scape and then also import a building and see what it looks like so Thanks for watching and see you then.